Welcome to the SEI Podcast Series, a production of the Carnegie Mellon University Software Engineering Institute. The SEI is a federally funded research and development center sponsored by the U.S. Department of Defense. A transcript of today's podcast is posted on the SEI website at sei.cmu.edu slash podcasts. Hello, my name is Corey Cohen, and uh, I'm a researcher at the Software Engineering Institute working on binary program analysis. I'm here today with my colleague Jeff Gennari to talk about some of our work in the Ferros Binary Static Analysis Project. So, Jeff, in the years that we've worked together, I've done vulnerability analysis, program, an, um, program analysis, uh, incident response, um, some malware analysis. Uh, tell the audience a little bit about uh, what kinds of work you've done here. Well, I'm a senior researcher also in the program analysis, binary analysis space. Uh, I, too, did vulnerability work before that, malware analysis, reverse engineering I teach a few classes at, uh, uh, at CMU in software reverse engineering and software verification, um, and I'm a developer in Pharos. Okay. So we're here today primarily to talk about uh, our recent updates to Pharos on the Pharos website, uh, in particular our, our updates to the Object uh, Analyzer program. Uh, but I wanted to start by asking a little bit about why is object-oriented reverse engineering a serious challenge problem for the Department of Defense? Well, object-oriented code includes many high-level abstractions that are difficult to reverse engineer. It really, it include the, the binary representations of objects include a lot of state that aren't captured well by existing tools. And so the Pharos work and the object uh, analyzer in particular uh, has been focused on recovering those abstractions and applying them in a format that reverse engineers can easily uh, reason about, so they can apply those to their tools. So Jeff, tell me a little bit more about what Pharos is and how it works and what kinds of things you can do with it. Sure. So we talk about Pharos as a platform because it really is a collection of services to support reverse engineering and program analysis. It does everything from uh, disassembly to partitioning of functions to identification of higher level data structures of which OO Analyzer is a part. Um, Pharos also provides a robust analytics framework where uh, the semantics of different instructions, what they actually do and their impact on the system uh, can be analyzed uh, and used to produce deeper analyses. And, and I can add to that that uh, we've got a number of really great collaborators working with us in this Pharos work. Uh, the most obvious is our partners at uh, Lawrence Livermore National Labs, the Rose developers that the Pharos platform is built on top of. We work very closely with them. Uh, we've also had good interactions with uh, Prolog developers at XSB and SWI Prolog uh, who have helped us develop and expand the capabilities of our ROO analysis tool. And uh, we have a partnership with Ari Garfinkel at the University of Waterloo, uh, who's helping us integrate uh, the Z3 SMT solver into Pharos uh, so that we can answer reachability questions and, and other program analysis problems. And I think that's a good, I think that's one of the big design goals that we had was that Pharos is not just a, a self-contained reverse engineering platform. We're always looking for new ways to bring in formal computer science program analysis strategies uh, to bear on this problem. So the inclusion of SMT solvers, uh, getting into symbolic execution type problems, model checkers, um, really allows us to explore these problems in ways that other entities don't. So what else is new in this release that uh, people on the internet might be interested in? So aside from um, some of the extensions we'll talk about, this release includes a number of bug fixes and performance enhancements. Uh, notably, there's uh, improvements to the Mac OS uh, port, so Mac users can now use our tools natively. Um, and I guess the next thing to talk about is the extensions themselves. Yeah, so uh, we've obviously released a Ghidra plugin for the OO Analyzer framework, uh, for the OO Analyzer tool. Uh, why is uh, Ghidra a plugin important, and why why have we chosen at this time to to do some work in Ghidra? Yeah, Ghidra was uh, recently released by the NSA. It's a new reverse engineering platform um, that is very uh, interesting. Provides a lot of new uh, interesting features, like a robust decompilation. And we thought it was very important to get our tools into that space to help DoD reverse engineers. So, what's next for the Ferros platform in general? Well, we're going to continue to look at different reverse engineering platforms like Ghidra. We still produce and maintain tools for Ida Pro. Um, we continue to 
work on applying rigorous reasoning frameworks like uh, SMT solvers to this space, and we continue to uh, include new uh, features in object-oriented analysis, object-oriented analysis into OO Analyzer. If people want to be more involved in the Ferros project, how would you recommend that they get started? I recommend that uh, people go to github.com cmu-sei uh, forward slash Pharos, uh, and just get a sense of what tickets are available or open, what comments are out there, what the updates are going on, so they can see what, um, what the recent activity was. Okay, and I can talk a little bit more about the uh, capabilities that are on the GitHub site. We do have some documentation there. Uh, there's a Docker image so that people can download the Docker image and get started without actually having to build the software. Uh, you can build from source from the GitHub site if, if people are interested in doing that. And after experimenting with the tools for a little while, if they have any questions, I would encourage them to just open an issues ticket on, on GitHub for us. We try to stay on top of those and respond and provide assistance as we're best able. All right. Excellent. So thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, as we've mentioned uh, in this uh, uh, podcast, we've released a new version of the Pharos tools. They're available at github.com slash CMU dash SEI slash Pharos. And you can also keep up to date with what we're doing on our team by following the SEI blog at insights.sei.cmu.edu. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. This episode is available where you download podcasts, including SoundCloud, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. It is also available on the SEI website at sei.cmu.edu slash podcasts and the SEI's YouTube channel. This copyrighted work is made available through the Software Engineering Institute, a federally funded research and development center sponsored by the U.S. Department of Defense. For more information about the SEI and this work, please visit www.sei.cmu.edu. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us at info at sei.cmu.edu. Thank you.